I used to really, really ask the question, why did it affect me and not anyone else in the family? And I've had to live with these dreadful condition for such a really, really long time. Hello everyone, my name is Ken and I'm Head of Medical for Global Medical Affairs. So I've been living with atopic dermatitis for a long time. I had lesions on my entire body from my face all the way down to my feet. So not a single part of my body was not affected with the lesions. But beyond the visible lesions is the itch that is consistently happening in the background. So I was itchy every minute of the day continuously and I was scratching continuously every day for years. Itch is by far the most bothersome symptom for, for me as an atopic dermatitis patient. And it is so intense that our entire focus and everything that we do is trying to alleviate the itch. At one time, I actually thought that I was having a psychological, a mental illness because I was scratching so much and losing so much sleep that I was going down a downward spiral. I did not do well in school because I was constantly missing school. It has really impacted me on my ability to participate in activities such as sports. I was never able to jump into a swimming pool or the sea to have a swim. And as a result of that, I wasn't able to learn how to swim. Beyond that, uh, I had a lot of issues with social interactions in school because people would look at me and be really afraid of me in terms of how my skin looked like because I was constantly red and I was constantly covered in lesions and scratching. I think stigma in atopic dermatitis is often not spoken, but it is real. And I think that a lot of people do judge us by the way that we look whether we like it or we don't. And I think this condition, because of the way that the lesions are manifested, the redness and the constant inflammation that people see, people do get afraid of us. And as a result of that, I started to also withdraw myself from the society. So I spent a lot of the time indoors and I spent a lot of the time alone with myself, which did not help with the situation. And I actually had to battle with psychological symptoms as well that include depression. And this is not helped by the fact that I've lost a significant amount of sleep. I feel really privileged because I've been really able to control this condition. It's a long journey. And um, for patients out there, you have to continue finding the right practitioner and the, and the right diagnosis. And eventually, I did find the correct practitioner who did an appropriate test and a diagnosis. So my, my message to anyone who's got atopic dermatitis is that there is hope. And I want everyone with, living with this condition to know that there is support and there is treatment that you can get that will help your condition. And for anyone out there, there is light at the end of the tunnel and there is hope. And my message to you is that never give up on your battle for these conditions.